In this video, we'll talk about endowment effect. We tend to assign a higher value to the things once we own them. The stuff we own is part of our endowment. We attach extra value to whatever we happen to own, so we are reluctant to part with our possessions or endowments, even when trading them makes economic sense. The endowment effect is partly explained by our behavioral tendency of loss aversion. We are more averse to losses than gains. People are slow to sell vacation homes that, if they hadn't bought them in the first place and were offered them now, they would never buy. Investors are reluctant to sell stocks that have fallen in value, even when they admit that they would never buy those stocks at their current market prices. In organizations, we like our own ideas and work products better than others, regardless of the merit, simply because we created them. It is frustrating and irritating to us when our leaders seek out our ideas and opinions, but end up not taking them into consideration. An example is that some leaders treat the so-called listening tour as theatrics. Over time, people don't feel their input is valued by the leadership. If so, what's the point of wasting our time to speak up? It might be easier to play along with the leader's theatrics, presenting some politically correct and superfluous talking points. The endowment effect leads to inertia. In physics, an object in a state of rest stays that way unless something happens. People and organizations behave in the same way. We stick with what we have unless there is some good reason to change, or perhaps despite there being a good reason to change. Therefore, the endowment effect sometimes perpetuates the status quo. The endowment effect, loss aversion, and status quo bias often work together to inhibit change, organizational change included. We'll talk about status quo bias and loss aversion in different videos. This video is about the endowment effect. We tend to assign a higher value to the things once we own them. Now it is time for you to provide an example of the endowment effect and reflect on how it influences decisions made by you or the people around you.